Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here and welcome back to Aries Colony. How are you all today? I hope you're good. No wave again. Ugh, I just, I've logged a ticket but it's uh, it's most annoying. It does work occasionally. But anyway, we'll just jump and say hello. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yes, lots to, lots to see and do and talk about, um, including this these things here. So actually, let's just uh, go into that and mush some keys and press some buttons and that one there maybe, and that one, yeah, and not quite. There we go, right. So, uh, yes, I've uh, done quite a lot of stuff off camera actually, and a little bit on camera before we started obviously. And uh, yeah, the unknown signals. Now this was an idea by Nutzel, and Nutzel has actually been helping me as well every now and then when I get my numbering wrong. and. <laughs> Uh, for instance, I think I said last time that I had no 9 and I needed another 9 or I needed a 9. So I put a 9 in and then I got 10 and then a 10 turned up which actually turned out to be an 11. So, <laughs> um, Full disclosure, this was moved in here and these have all been joined together and added on uh, and landing gears and stuff in creative mode. So uh, just, just full disclosure there. Um, I haven't carried them underneath a ship or anything to get them in it's just been a cut and paste type uh, situation uh actually speaking of which another one that i did do well actually two but i've only uh yeah two is i am actually in creative mode i think yes i am cool um was while i was recording the um no that's not it uh oh they're right there uh, while I was recording the time lapse using Future Wellington in um, online mode, one of those turned up just about 20 k's away, so I, I just went and grabbed it creative mode. So, um, yep, that's what it is. And uh, then there was also another one in space, which uh, I never actually went to. I just copied it in creative mode in spectator cam, which is I haven't actually had a decent look at. We'll just put you there and oh look it's staying there that's cool um okay so yeah interesting uh let's let's just get rid of you and we'll deal with you later um but yeah so that that's uh that's that's that one so yeah i i doubt that i'm actually going to be able to get these any other way uh if i want to collect these uh, strong unknown signal ones in um, online mode because I'm not intending to really be in online mode a lot. Um, future Wellington, so I tried with that time lapse because there's issues with um, grids being off place and stuff. It's just not this. This is fine. This world for single player, um, multiplayer mode. It does not like it too much. What I actually did was I had Future Wellington host it on my laptop and uh, I then did the um, the building through here and oh it was very slow and very laggy. Um, I did it but uh, yeah, don't expect that to happen very often at all. Uh, I put these posters in so that's that's cool and uh, yeah so that's, yeah, that, that's those. I've done a bit of work with the unknown signals actually. Um, our to-do list now, a suggestion which was an awesome suggestion from Snow to Yes. I mean, everybody's suggestions are awesome, but um, this one was put your list on a data pad so you can take it with you. <laughs> and uh, that's an excellent idea. Let's just make room because we're actually filling up the data pad now. So that was number seven. We can actually delete that. And also, we can delete those off because I did those too. So. So today we'll um, we'll work through the um, the turrets because that's the thing. But yeah, there's some stuff to see first. So let's head outside. So I don't bang into the, every single wall. Oh, gosh. There we go. Um, also, something was up with these oxygen tanks. They kept turning off. It was actually, um, they had dropped off the timers in the hangar depressurization cycle. So they turned off, but they never turned back on. But um, I fixed that, so that's good. Because I was like, 
I was trying to fill it with air in the um, in the med bays and it wouldn't work. But I think I think we're all yes, we're well and truly all good. Um, so yeah, we'll come back to that because that's that's a thing. Uh, and there's a, a mount for that thing and a ramp. So yes, that's that's the plan is to to drive drive it up here. An unknown signal, just absolutely perfect timing because if we go over here as you can see there are a number of unknown signals uh, because I have fixed fetchy again um, and when I say fixed fetchy I don't mean in the in the way that you fix your animal when you take to the vet uh, I mean it's working so uh, actually we'll, we'll go down and we'll grab it and we'll grab that unknown signal which is probably slipping down the side of the hill but that's okay um, so that is actually piped in. That uh, I think, I think, I think, I, yeah. There's actually a gap there because I still need to get in and do stuff. Or do I? No, I think I've actually done all that now. So yeah, I can. Yeah. So anyway, that that's that's down there. Um, yes, yeah, so but we're still in creative mode, so we won't do that right now. Um, so yes, uh, down here there's an extra timer and there's a welder. So we'll talk more about that in a sec. And there's a camera as well. So say I've done stuff lots of stuff but let's just launch it and then I think we should be right because that carrier was around let's just fingers crossed we don't get a shoot about or something fly by because the carriers don't seem to be worried by me turning the antenna on but I don't think that's the same for all the orc vessels but we can quickly sneak this through I think before something else turns up where is the unknown? Yeah, it must be cascading down the hill. That's annoying. Sure enough, there it is. Okay. We'll have to try and catch it. That's okay. Well, just try and maybe get in front of it a little bit. Go the same way that it's going. Is that way? Oh, that, yes! <laughs> no worries. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What's going on? Oh, oh the parachute's still on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Disengage. Disengage. just have to touch down briefly so that we can stabilize things come on oh come on it's because we're moving that's annoying um, Surely now. Oh, man. Right. Use up all my fuel. Now that is a planet out there, isn't it? Yes, it's a planet, not a safe zone. <laughs> oh, I think I've checked that numerous times before. Right, let's engage the autopilot and... Oh, that was just an absolute nightmare. Okay. 
I'm still in creative mode, so what I'll do is uh, that's that's just coming over. Um, if we go into here, and so I have published Fetchy now, and there will be a link in today's video description. And yeah, so I've, I've reprogrammed it. So I've put new GPS coordinates because I did actually two reasons. I've removed some and shortened the run a bit. Uh, also, I've moved the remote control up there. Uh, yeah. Now, I can't remember if I said, but it was David Gutting that suggested that I put a welder in, which I'm pretty sure that welder will pick up that. And there is actually a uh, uh, projector there as well. So. Um, yeah, but this this whole thing is published, so you get an idea of how to set up the base if that's what you want to do. There we go, into the pile, and it just conveniently bangs into that. Okay, that's um, <laughs> it doesn't normally bang into that. Hmm. In here. Okay, so we'll actually just follow it in. So instead of going out here, it sort of is is a lot closer now. And down it goes, and then when it disengages and docks, that goes on, the welder goes on, the projector goes on, and it's able to weld up anything that might have been damaged. So yes, so that's, that's real good. Uh, yeah, okay. So yes, as I say, that's on the Steam Workshop page, and also mod.io. So that's good, real good. So uh, let's just go out of crowd mode before we forget. And tell you what, I'm going to put those in here because they're cluttering up things. Let's just see how that goes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, very satisfying. That was so cool. That's real good. That was like a little marble run type thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, now that I've got new blocks, I could maybe do something with those corners. Hmm. Just that one piece. What is that? Is that a... That's oh, a parachute thing. Mm. Oh, that'll do. Um, right. Things to do. Okay. So, yes, we've got uh, got that here ready for the next bit. So, yeah, lots of stuff. There's my button, and there's my other button. Cool, cool. Um, also, just speaking of fetchy and retrieval drones, I'll actually just give a plug at the end of the episode to another creator sharpie 101 he's done some quite awesome stuff with um automated drones uh so yeah maybe go over i mean that i've done that that's me uh, that i've done that that's um it's not fetchy's not one of his drones but um he does do some quite cool stuff actually so just a new new youtuber so i'll link that at the end now let's talk about this turret because uh obviously it's a new turret so actually, let's head back over to the other turret that I did last time. Now, at the end of the last episode, I'm pretty sure that I said that this is cool. I'm not sure if it fits in an Aries colony. And uh, it was quite late, and I had to uh, publish that episode very quickly after finishing it. Um, I've had more time to think about it, and... I don't think this suits Aries Colony. Um, I mean, it might just be the colour, actually. It might just be the colour. Okay, actually, hang on. It's just... <laughs> well, it's too late now. I've already made up my mind what I'm going to do. But um, maybe it's just the colour. Uh, no, it's not just the colour. I'll change that back. Okay. So, um... Yeah, so I just feel like it's it's awesome. 
but it's just not the right shape it's not the right design to fit in with the rest of Aries colony Aries colony is very angular and particularly these blocks here which is why I've used them so extensively on the new turret which uh, if, I, if I just back up a step the turret that's in there now is actually what I originally wanted to do but I just felt like I couldn't do it with the blocks but then that we had the update just the other day which gave me all the new blocks and particularly these um, these ones here because I thought I was going to have to make it with those but then we got um, these new ones as part of the yeah that one there as part of the pack and that's what's enabled me to do that design over there so as much as having those blocks enabled me to do this design it got me thinking that actually I can do the design that I wanted to do uh, all is not lost though even though I don't think this suits Ares Colony I think this will suit the asteroid station I reckon that will look awesome up there um, to have some of those um, up there because also if I go upside down and have it hanging I reckon it will look cool hanging off as well and you get the full range so yeah so I'm going to make some more of these and I'm going to transport them up to up to the relay station um, so that's my plan there and those ones the 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 version one which was actually version two uh, I'm going to use down here so I think that works out well all right so I think I think I've covered everything off uh, the thesis is all finished and I've done quite a bit of programming with bits and pieces I have made a blueprint there is a projector in here now so it is ready to be published but I haven't quite published it so I'll get there okay that's cool right um so plan for today which is just about over now so thanks everybody for watching today I hope you did enjoy that no um what I want to do is build a a uh, a vehicle a rover that can back up to a printer and sort of print off print off this um, which we should actually have a look at because yeah it's um, it's quite cool so I've got I've, I've sort of got everything in the top piece um, there's not much down the bottom except the cargo container there um, there's really nothing else down here for the merge block for building it and so I do actually need to swap this hinge around and uh, so that that piece is on here and that piece because it is actually quite tight to lift it up and down at the moment just because of how it is but that will get solved when I swap that around but I need it to be yeah need it to be elsewhere um, there are a couple of batteries so it does work by itself so that way it won't flop about unless it, you know with it being unlocked it's still got a bit of power so yeah so that's that's cool and uh, let's just ooh, have a look at the top and I think we've got a good range of guns there, so uh, yeah, really quite happy with how that came out. Is that camera? Yeah, right away. Um, yeah. So and that, and as I say, all those new blocks sort of enable that, which was quite good. And I've missed one there. Oops. How did I miss that? And now I'm the wrong colour. Uh, right. Oh, really okay well enough of me talking um, this vehicle is going to be quite tricky to do so I am going to do it in a montage is it just me or are they light armor as well they are light armor it's a little bit darker oh, okay so I've got some things to sort out um, yeah I'm going to do a speed up a speed up thing um, for building the vehicle because it's going to take quite a bit of um, trickiness to, to, to get work I'm going to have to have a piston that lifts up and down and that one lifts up and down and then the whole vehicle kind of needs to move forward so that I can start with the wheels hard up against this and it will push the whole projection back forward yeah forward as it goes so yeah there needs to be like a project yeah so lots lots to figure out lots to figure out and uh, yeah I'm not going to do that real time I will do that in montage right I'll just get some energy and I'll sort out those blocks and um, stand by Oh, I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll get on with it. See you soon. My word, that took an absolute age. Uh, yes, it was uh, not easy. Not easy. I moved lots of things lots of times. So, uh, yes. Right, I've uh, disconnected that. And uh, so, yeah, that can now lift up. So, I'm going to reverse that. And actually, that's probably not going to go high enough because we need to okay this is where it could all go all go very wrong we need to disconnect this uh, this has hurt my brain figuring all this out uh, detach oh yes no worries <laughs> I wasn't concerned okay so yeah because it's just trying to get the things right is the problem so let's just uh, reduce you oh that's probably gonna bang into that one is it yeah it's okay so we do oh this build vision it's just the right click to get off of it um cancel stuff so i don't know when i've actually closed things it's yeah it's actually um not doing it for me. I think uh, I think we'll raise it right up to two. Why not? Okay, and that one we will put all the way up. And that's just about right. It is right. Okay. So that's good, and let's turn that on. Okay, so we can now transport this, because it should be clear. Yes, it is clear, okay. Alright, so let's um let's take this outside. It's not going to fit through the door, though. That is a problem. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, I did want to do this so it was folded but um 
it would have made life easier but I had that set to not perfectly straight so it didn't actually bang on that potentially that was the wrong decision in fact now that I look at it it probably is the wrong decision because there's only that edge there so nothing will actually bang that's super annoying I think I'm actually going to have to rework this because the other thing is um, is this I'm probably better off it, it's quite big I mean I know it's big but the cockpit could actually go over this piece because this ah it'll be right it'll be fine okay right so yeah let's um okay we're gonna have to we're gonna have to grind you down actually to get it out of the door but I do want to build a um a printing machine inventory full Ugh, really okay uh we'll, we'll put there's there is a container here, so we'll put it in in there uh oh what happened lag something must have spawned in put that stuff in there and yeah hopefully we should fit out the door now uh, yeah oh it is what it is yeah I want to I want to build a, uh, a decent um, printing thing outside because to print the pieces the two pieces ah. ow, the two pieces of the other turret I want to build a sort of flying type thing um, that can do that so uh, that will be next time that will be next time because uh, I actually need to I need to finish up today um, so we'll go and try and install this so hopefully it works okay that's, that's pretty good it's pretty good it's wobbling a little bit I'm reluctant to lock it down with a uh, oh, there's something there I'm sort of reluctant to lock it down with a landing gear because that might sort of cause clang and turn it into a what do they call them a, a clang drive a piston drive ideally those front wheels should be able to turn some more would be nice I don't know if that's possible oh yeah it's working it's working and yes we're out we're out okay now, um, how wide is it? So, okay, oh, that's not what I want us to do. Okay, so we're we're five blocks wide. Okay, so that that's wide enough. That's good. All right, so let's uh, let's go for a drive. It's nice and stable. And actually, what what we'll do is because I'm not going to print another one off today, we will. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just give it a bit of a trial run so let's just back up actually we'll just back up to there okay so pistons law grip uh, maximum distance will make them 0.5 we will increase that first So that was okay. That was one meter. So uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, the magnetic plates. We will turn the lock off and unlock them. Okay. So that's that's cool. So that's a locking thing. They are ready to lock. So I'm not going to put them on the tool bar now because I need to get all this stuff. Okay. So that's locked. Um. Okay, uh, what I might do is I'll just go into the entity list. Into me. Whoa! What are you doing holding that thing for? Okay. Just so we can see. Okay. Oh! 
Okay, so the pistons, those ones there. Now we'll need to slow them down. Point one, I think. We'll reverse them. Yeah, so that that brings the whole the whole thing back. I didn't actually need to go into that view. Oh, I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong. I've done it wrong. I want the no, no. I've done it right. I've done it right. So this will back up to the um, to the welders, and that will move forward. Yeah, I was thinking that that this would stay still and that would move forward, but no, no, that's not right. Okay, so that's all locked down. So that that's um, that's actually really good. Okay, that that's uh, that's awesome. Um, uh, reverse. So that will pull away from the welder and weld it in the um, in the two pieces. Ah, very good, very very good. Okay, well, let's go and put this in place and uh, I'll be able to. Yeah, once it's actually in place, I will be able to do the do the thing. So, make the plate, unlock those. Floor grip, so I have to get stuff set up for all this. But uh, yeah, okay, that's um, that's good. Uh, we don't know the right camera. Try that one. Right, let's go down here. And uh, yeah, so I need to get a heavy lift. I don't think the um, the orbiter is the most ideal thing for yeah actually I don't think I need to shorten this up I think it's fine Ooh. yeah I don't think the orbiter is the best thing for um... for uh, lifting it uh... but uh, yeah I, I am going to have to rework it because you're yeah, not not fit out the door is a bit of an issue. <laughs> uh. But yeah, then we can get these things mass produced. You know, that's that's the thing. And I am doing it this way because I think a welder wall is pretty easy for people to make. this will be a good way of deploying them so we can do them on mass so yeah I mean it's not an insignificant um, turret that's for sure okay so we are not in the middle Okay, this could be a problem. <laughs> One thing does not like driving on uh, steel. Maybe I need a little bit more framework. And yeah, that should be should be close enough. I'm sure it'll be right if we just very gently, very gently put a few wheels out over the back. Let's just get there. I think that's. Actually, see, is a bit of a problem. No, rough enough. Okay. Right. So, if we we could we could just about lock it down again, couldn't we? Okay, let's do that actually, just to be on the safe side, so we don't go cartwheeling off into the distance. Uh. That's good, that locks us down, so that gives a bit of security. Okay, uh, we're not attached, are we? I don't think so. Come on. 
No, nah, I mean, I can see get there, so clearly not. Right. Uh, let's just reverse that one in there. And that should be at the right place, maybe. Actually, actually, actually. Put that up, put that up, put that up, put that up. Yeah. I think I went a little bit too far. Three five. Still a little bit too far. Went four. I think it's going to be point five. Doesn't actually have to sit in the right place. Hmm, okay, well, it's just. Let's just turn that off and see what happens. Okay, well, that's, that's alright. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, um. So I should actually. Blueprint that now. Uh, turret mount. Cool. And oh, I have to blueprint it because I still need to swap over. I still need to swap over this hinge. So, uh, that part, wrong colour, that part wants to go up there, yeah, I'm not sure actually which way it goes, so, it'll be right, and uh, that part goes there, that part, really? How did that happen? <laughs> no, we'll get we'll get that sorted. Okay, so actually that's that's the blueprint there that I need to. Do. Okay, I'll sort that out off camera anyway. Okay, so now if we lower this one, that should end up in the right place. More or less. Okay, so let's attach you, and yeah, we need to somehow do that rotor that's in there. Rotor. Okay, it's that one there, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I heard a bang, but I didn't hear an explosion. <laughs> so that's that's positive. It's very positive. Okay, and now the moment of truth. Okay, so that clearly was going into the wrong place. So we'll uh, we'll need to sort that out. Let's just reverse that. Uh, so yeah, this this is welcome to my world. This is what I do all the time, trying to sort this stuff out. Just yeah, me and my crazy plans. But um, that's that's worked quite well. That's worked real well actually. Oh, perfect. Well, we'll <laughs> we'll just leave that as is. Okay, so that's good, because that's at the right place. Uh, that it could actually come up a little bit. Yeah, because that was touching, so that's going to be even 0.7. Uh, okay, 
I'll sort that one out later anyway. Okay, let's just uh, retract that up out of the way. Roll it a couple more notches. 0.75, that seems like a good number. Okay, that's cool. Right, uh, let's get this out of the way and uh, that'll be us. Uh, Mag plates, turn them, unlock them. And the pistons, press them. And there we go, it's in place. And uh, yeah, that's that's all looking pretty good. It's looking real good. All right, well, I'm gonna have to pull the pin there um, because yeah, I need to get some stuff done and yeah, I'm running quite behind on my some pieces. So over the next few days, I'll sort this out, uh, make it nice and tidy. I will put all the bits and pieces um on the toolbar and stuff with this and yeah i think um make the blueprints and be able to print some more off and put those guns back in mm. yes right uh standby all right that's better uh yes so thanks everybody for watching today hope you did enjoy this episode a uh, little bit of a um all over the place one actually um but uh yeah made some good progress with this today so next time as i say i will do uh i'll tidy this up before next time we'll print off some more we'll put a welder wall in somewhere or somehow or something and we'll print off a whole lot more and i want to make a heavy lift ship as well so yeah next next episode still on the turrets thing um, but then after that we will get into something else for a bit of a change, which will be good, yeah, because I feel like I've done my dash with these, so, yeah, cool, okay, so, uh, yes, hopefully you can join me again then, and until next time, stay safe out everybody, have a good one, and this is where I would wave, but it's not working, so, do my jump, ow, okay, maybe I won't do my jump, so, yeah. right, uh, yes, see you next time.